if you're working on backstroke, this video I'm highlighting how the path moves with your arms throughout the stroke cycle. Hey swimmers, welcome back to the Swim Bites channel. I'm Coach Mandy and today's quick tip video is on backstroke and how your arms should motion through the stroke cycle when it is out of the water. Now before I get into detail, if you are new to this channel or you've been watching my content, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. That way you stay notified for new and exciting content weekly and you show your support for the channel. All right swimmers, now let's get into what happens with the high side arm. Okay, swimmers, so in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating each point of the stroke cycle for backstroke. I will also provide some quick tips to help improve your overall flow of the arm moving forward. In backstroke, the timing of the arms are always in constant motion, tied to rotating the body and opening up and lengthening the body line. As soon as the high set arm enters the water, it drives rotation, which then allows the opposite arm to release out of the water. So you see here that my left arm has entered and now my right arm is releasing out of the water away from my hip and becomes the high side arm. At this moment, your body line remains rotated on its side until the opposite arm enters the water. From the forward view, you can see that the catch is initiated during the midpoint of the high side arm moving forward. As you see right here, my right catch has formed as my left arm has now reached the midpoint of the path that the high side arm takes. Once you've established rotation and the timing of your arms moving together, then the timing of your kick is tied in with the rotation as well. Once the high side arm enters the water, it enters slightly downhill. This helps establish your rotation and the timing of your stroke. As you see here, my right arm has entered the water. I am rotated on my right side, and you see that my hand is slightly below my shoulder line. This helps you achieve a smooth backstroke while maintaining your body line on the surface driven by rotation. Here is a recap of those steps again of the arm cycle, followed with the first initial step, and that is the release of the arm moving forward. As you see here, I'm still rotated. My arm has released out of the water. Step two, at the midpoint of the high side arm moving forward, I have now established a catch with my opposite arm. Followed by step three, which is the high side arm lands in the water, initiates the rotation to the opposite side. These are the steps to the arm cycle to help you achieve a smooth backstroke. Okay, so that's it for this quick tip video on backstroke. Now, if you are serious about improving your swim training and you're ready to take it up to a new level, hit the pinned comments below and join my swim vice program today. You will have access to a course on backstroke, freestyle, turns, speed, treading water, and so much more. You can also go to swimbikes.com to access more resources to help with your swim training. All right, swimmers, enjoy your practice, and I will see you all next week.